Hi. Welcome to Sing Show, our weekly live show where we feature songs and projects, books, special guests, and of course, a little bit of fun and silliness. This week, we start Maker Month. And uh, one of the things that we love to make here, and one of the things Mrs. Ray loves, are gardens. It's time for our fall garden planting right now, and I happen to have a big bag of fava beans. What are fava beans? Well, I'm glad you asked. Fava beans are an amazing seed that not only work as food, but they also are food for your soil. They are called a cover crop, and that's what we're going to be planting in our fall garden. So um, take a look inside this bag. I have quite a few. This right here, four pounds of fava beans. I'm not planting all four pounds in my little pot today. I'm going to instead plant just one, one big seed right down in there. Typically, the rule of thumb <laughs> is to poke it down about twice as deep as it is large. Well, I'm going to put a little water on this. And while I do that, I would like to introduce you to a new segment on Sing Show, Ellie's Art Corner. For this otter, I used this 2B pencil. It doesn't matter what pencil you use because it's just for the outline so I know where to put the nose when I draw in charcoal or the eyes or the background or the waves. For the darker parts, like up here in the corners and the shadows in the background, I used a medium charcoal. This is a Winsor Newton. For the lighter parts, like here, close to in the otter's face, I used a hard charcoal. For the background, at first it looks very grainy and a lot of lines. So to blend that out, because my reference photo was at a very blurry background, I used this blending stump. It's just paper, so if you don't have one, you can use a paper towel to blend out or a tissue paper tissue don't use a dirty one use a clean one cuz yeah for these highlights on the waves you don't want to use a lot of charcoal on them because when you go to highlight them and the charcoal has built up there it will be hard to do the highlights for those highlights, I used this Tombow mono eraser or just any stick eraser. If you don't have a Tombow mono eraser or stick eraser, you can use a kneaded eraser. I use this, I use both, or you can just use a regular rectangle or pink eraser. I used all three of them, but it doesn't matter. I just used printer paper and you can still make a really nice result it's better if you just build it up layer by layer sometimes if you're going for a realistic look it's better to take your time and create a beautiful drawing than to just rush and turn out with something that's not always the best this took me about probably about an hour and a half to finish I know with the time lapse, it is only like a few minutes, but in real life, it takes a lot longer. I hope that you go and try out some drawings, and if you do a lot with, say, just pencil or watercolor or paint, try something new, like charcoal. I had never worked with it, and it was really fun to try this out, so... Bye. The calendar says Friday, and we can't be at school. We want to gather in large groups. But 
But right now that's just not cool So our garage has many banners We've got a guitar or two The stage and lights are all set up Amanda and Addie and Preston. <laughs> Thanks for bringing us so much joy this week, everyone. Happy Friday. It's We've the show. Waiting for you to come to this place. Waiting for you to come to this place. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you've come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. you're from we're glad that you've come we've been waiting for you to come to this place and i heard that uh you know we are we're naming this month the maker month yes we are making that <laughs> announcement right now because we like to make october things. is maker month <laughs> national maker month on the sing we've show. started that movement here <laughs> on the sing show spread the word it's always fun to have something um, so, uh, what kind of things do you like to make? Yeah. Type them in the chat. Do you like to sew? Do you like to uh, build with cardboard? Do you like to work with electronics? Um, what other things could you make? You could make things out of... Uh, do you like to make your family a delicious dinner? You could uh, make a garden. You could. Mrs. Ray enjoys making gardens. Yeah, let's sing about that one. If, if you, you like to garden, we've been waiting for you. And if you like to work with uh, Play-Doh, we've been waiting for you. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you've come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Why, some people like to make mischief. Ooh. If you like to make mischief, we've been waiting for you. And if you like to make snacks, Ooh, we've been waiting for you. Wherever you're from, we goodness i just want to i you know we've been singing that song a lot of weeks we are on episode 27 today of the sing show it seems That's like three times nine. Oh my goodness it's unbelievable yeah. unbelievable how many fun experiences we've no, wait. had I, I was wrong i'm sorry it's actually it was nine times three. Oh right right, right. that's what i meant yeah yeah oh. they can switch up switch uh, it up <laughs> switch it by the way have you been 
working along with Sammy out there. He's been doing this amazing uh, virtual uh, assembly and, and weekly live, well, weekly show that he records and then uh, broadcasts out to everybody. Who's been doing that? Have you been working out and learning about things like, uh, you know, never giving up and uh, making sure, you know, even when you're really tired or when you don't feel like it, um, you know, there's some really great messages there. Uh, and he's coming up. He's going to be doing, uh, we're going to be continuing to work with him we for the are. next several months. We're going to welcome him all year long. Every month there will be a family night where we can exercise together with our families in the evening in addition to what you get to do on right. weekly episodes. And it fits along with Maker Month too. Month too. Yeah. Because yeah, you could make muscles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at these muscles. <laughs> See, look. Oh, wait. I can't really do that. Oh, dear. Wow. Okay. Well... You know what? Um, we've had some so many special artists, singer-songwriters share their music with us so that we could share it with all of you. And I just want to give a huge thank you to Michael Lehman for encouraging us to get this show going way back in April and to sing uh, songs like We've Been Waiting For You. And this next one, a huge thank you to Tom Hunter and Bev Foz and Michael Lehman for writing and sharing this song. I, I was going to... Just say. Does it remind you of I'm, something? Yeah, because oh. this song is about planting seeds, and um, I, I planted this seed, and it's still, it. I mean, I don't, it's not doing anything. I mean, I planted it, what, almost, how many, like, like I don't know, eight minutes ago? And... Third graders. When? Should I dig it up? I mean, maybe should I should... Should give up? Maybe I should... Orchard. Plant another what do you one? Think? Same show. It's been eight minutes. I did put some water in it. Well, this song will help him know he's got to wait. What? I don't like to wait. Sometimes you have to. <sighs> well, Giselle, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're gardening. I hope you're gardening at home. Uh, maybe you're planting your fall, fall crops. I wonder what they'll be. Broccoli. Maybe. Brassica family plants. Fava beans. <laughs> Whatever they are, get them in the ground so that you can wait. It's called I Waited and I Waited. Written by Tom Hunter. I planted a seed in the dark, cool ground. I put my ear to the ground and I listened, but I didn't hear a sound. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited, but the seed didn't grow. I got down on my knees. And I said, please, are you ever, 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 ever gonna grow? There's wind. <laughs> then I watered that seed in the dark, cool ground. I put my ear to the ground and I listened, but I didn't hear a sound. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited, but the seed didn't grow. I got down on my knees and I said, please, are you ever, 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 ever gonna grow? Might give up. Then the sun shone down on the dark, cool ground. I put my ear to the ground and I listened, but I didn't hear a sound. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited, but the seed didn't grow. I got down on my knees. I said, please, are you ever, 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 ever gonna grow? Sang a song to the seed in the dark, cool ground. I put my ear to the ground and I listened, but I didn't hear a sound. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited, but the seed didn't grow. I got down on my knee and I said, Please. Are you ever, 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 ever gonna grow? I think I, we should just give up. Maybe. It's been so long. 
Hmm. Months. <gasps> but look. Weeks. Oh, wait. Then the seed grew up oh. from the dark, cool ground. With my mouth wide open and a cheer, I made a lot of sound. I had waited and waited and waited and waited, and the seed finally did grow. I jumped up on my feet and I said, How sweet! I thought that you would never, ever, ever, ever grow. I planted a seed in the dark, cool ground. Just give it some time. <laughs> This week I showed my class where we had almost given up on our bean seeds this spring. We thought they were never, ever, 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 ever going to grow. And sure enough, they have. You'll get a sneak peek of how much they've grown in this week's book bag episode. Here we go. Come on now, make some time to read. It's Mrs. Ray's book bag. Happy October, it's maker month, and my favorite thing to make is a garden. This is the perfect time of year to get out and find fall crops that you want to plant and get them in the ground. It still feels a little warm out, but as the temperatures start to cool, you'll be ready to harvest some delicious fruits and vegetables. Inspired by gardens this week, I chose the book just Ask, Be Brave, Be Different, Be You, written by Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. We saw some of Rafael Lopez's work earlier this year in the book, The Day You Begin. In this book, the story is that Sonia and her friends are planting a garden. And as they're planting that garden, they're working together to each bring their own special touches to the garden and as they work together they realize that each one of them is a little bit different a little bit unique and as they work together in the garden they start to get to know each other more in this book sonia writes from her own personal experience of living with the condition of diabetes she had an experience, a negative experience, where someone judged her in a negative way based on just what they observed or what they saw. They didn't take the time to ask and get to know her. Sonia wants us to be inspired to get to know each other like we would getting to know a story through the pages of the book. I hope that you'll find time to explore this book, its beautiful illustrations, and to think about how you can get to know the people in your community, take the time, and just ask them more about themselves. Happy reading. Come on now, make some time to read. It's Mrs. Ray's book bag. with us. It always brings a smile to my face to see people's creativity. If you have artwork or an interesting video or maybe just a picture of yourself watching Sing Show with your family and enjoying it, send it to us. Post it on the Orchard Elementary Group page or on our Sing Show page and uh, we'd love to share that with our Sing Show community. Maybe we can feature it on an upcoming episode. That'd be great. This is an old favorite by the Banana Slug String Band <laughs> from Santa Cruz, California. Mm -hmm. Dirt made my lunch. Dirt made my lunch. Thank you, Dirt. Thanks a bunch for my salad, my sandwich, my milk, and my munch. Cause Dirt, you made my lunch. Dirt is a word that we often use. We're talking about that earth beneath our shoes. It's a place where plants can sink their toes. And in a while, a garden. Dirt made my lunch. Dirt made my lunch. Thank you, Dirt. Thanks a bunch for my 
salad, my sandwich, my milk, and my lunch. Custard, you made my lunch. Farmer. <laughs> A farmer's plow will tickle the ground. You know the earth is lapped when the wheat is found. The grain is taken and the flour is round. From making a sandwich to munch on down. It's rude to eat in front of All these right. people. Sorry. Dirt made my lunch. Dirt made my lunch. Thank you, dirt. Thanks a bunch for my salad, my sandwich, my milk, and my lunch. Cause dirt, you made my lunch. The stubby green beard grows upon the land. Out of the soil, the grass will stand. But under a hoof, it must bow. We're making milk by way of a cow or goat. Dirt made my lunch. Dirt made my lunch. Thank you, dirt. Thanks a bunch for my salad, my sandwich, my milk, and my lunch. Cause dirt, you made my lunch. Yes, dirt, you made my lunch. <laughs> Roy, happy Friday. Happy You're Friday. Get, you get it. This is awesome. You I love it. it when music. Oh, I get. Oh, I get it. It's yep. about cows, <laughs> and. Hooves. Milk, cow, cow milk, there's, mm. there's goat milk, there's almond milk, there's cashew milk, there's, mm. uh, Word there's, of the week. there's walnut Word milk, could you, could you milk the wall? week. There's, we're moving Word on. Word of the week. Word of the week. I wonder if there's Word of the Week <laughs> milk. I don't even know what that means. Okay. Yeah. You could tell. Who knows? Who knows? Mm. Kenny, Clara, oh my goodness, happy Friday. <gasps> this week's word of the week, it's all decorated for fall. And our word this week is bountiful. Hmm, I love this ending here on the end. Full, full of bounty. Bountiful. I hope that if you are planning, if you are planning to um, plant your garden this fall season, I wish you a most bountiful harvest. <laughs> we have something mysterious happening here I don't know. in the Sing Show. Do you set. see it? The camera is moving as if on its own. That's so weird. Okay, <laughs> sorry to interrupt Maybe you. Maybe the table so just some is weird wiggling. Stuff happening. You never know. When you're around a magician, you just uh, never know what's going to be happening what? these days. Are we moving? Are we not? Who I don't, don't know. Maybe it's the top or? is moving. Oh. I don't understand. <laughs> it's an illusion. Okay, okay. I'm just going to stop well, worrying about it. You just never know. You never know. Oh my goodness. Guess what it's time for our special guest this... Oh! Did you... Uh, uh, yeah! Oh my gosh! You talk and I'll switch. Okay. Wow. Whoa! It's that... I, I think there must be okay. An earthquake. There's something going on. Uh, there's something going on in the world today. But <laughs> obviously, there's something going on in the well, world. I hope so. I hope so. Um, to this week is the beginning of Maker Month, self-proclaimed Maker Month by Sing Show. <laughs> Hashtag Maker Month Sing Show. Uh, and uh, we are going to um, kick this off with two brothers who we have known for a while, um, the yes, Butler yes. Boys, uh, are two um, of our close friends. Um, they are also uh, members of our Education Through Music family, and so we welcome them to Sing Show to teach you a couple of things you can do to kick off Maker Month. We're obsessed and on the quest to find the best for our request, to be impressed, to pass the test. We, we will not acquiesce. acquiesce. Our video is now compressed. Here's our special guest. Here's our special guest. Hi, I'm Ryan Beller. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite string tricks. First, Jacob's Ladder.
So first, you're going to double up your string, like so. Put on your left hand, put it around your thumb and your pinky. On your right hand, bring it around your middle finger, so it forms a cone. Then, you're going to take your thumb and your pinky on the right hand, turn upside down, go to your left, grab, and now you have a star. Hello everyone, I'm Jacob Butler, and today I want to teach you how to fold a paper crane. One of the activities I love to do while I'm bored or just watching TV or something is fold origami, but specifically paper cranes. Those are my favorite to fold when I'm just doing something else. So They're really nice because they only require a little piece of paper. It has to be square though, so a sticky note works amazing. I usually use those or just a piece of origami paper, which is also square. And once you get quick enough at it, and once you've done it enough times, you can make them really fast, like this. Here's a crane. It's a really good fidget toy that you can basically do any time. And so first you're gonna fold one of the corners to the other, like this. And then you unfold it. Turn it 90 degrees and do the same thing. Now you need to flip it over like this. Bring the top edge to the bottom edge like this. Turn it 90 degrees. Bring the top edge to the bottom edge. You need to grab these two, put these two little triangles together like this, and these two triangles over here together like this, and now push it all together so you have this little plus form. And then what you want to do is you want to fold each corner out like this. So you have this diamond shape. Remember to keep the open side at the bottom so the top is not open, you can't open it up at all. So, what you need to do is you need to take this corner and fold it like this to the center. Same thing on the other side. And then on the other side as well. Then you need to take this top and fold it down over. Fold the top back over on this side. And then fold it back up. Now you need to open this up. And pull the bottom flap like this. This right here. Pull it all the way up and then fold the sides down. Same thing on the other side, flip it over, grab this bottom little flap, pull it up, all the way. Take this side right here, open it up, and flip this up like this, and then close it back up. This side, open this up, fold this up, and fold that back in. Now you have a triangle, and all you need to do is fold down each wing like this. Not all the way to the bottom, just most of the way. Same thing on the other side. Then choose one of these to be the head and the tail. I'll choose this one to be the tail. So you pull it back, and then down here you crease it. So that it stays in place. And then for the head, you open it up a little bit, bend the top down, and then close it back up again. Open, bend, close, and there's your crane. I have created a micro bit stand for my micro bit. I'm going to be using a model right here. This is a Lego though. It's not really my micro bit. So right here you would hold the stand any way you want to, in fact. You can set down your micro bit, but before I put this wall here, it just kept falling down. It kept falling down here, kept falling down over here, 
over here. It was just a really big mess. So then I put the wall there and it was perfect. Now I now I can do my coding all, coding without it falling. So sorry I paused it. I messed up. But that happens to the best of us. Thank you again. He <laughs> Keep waiting. <laughs> oh my goodness, Rachel, what a great attitude you have. You know what? Everyone makes mistakes and that's the way to do it. Just keep on going, keep on trying. And Jacob, Ryan, thank you for sharing and reminding me the fun of origami and string figures. I can't wait to practice some of those things uh, this weekend and into the coming weeks. This next song today, um, it's been recorded by so many different people hundreds of times around the whole world. It was written originally in 1975 by singer-songwriter David Millette. He was out in his garden. The idea came to him and he has said it, you know, never was really a big hit. It has gone around in a very human way through the mouths of children, sitting around campfires or even at wedding ceremonies. And of course, at Friday morning sing at Orchard. One of our very favorite songs. I want to first give a huge thank you to David Millette for giving us permission to share your song with our Sing Show family. And uh, he told me, he said, it's always an honor when someone sings his fine old tune. So make it a good one. Here we go with the garden song. We did want to say one big thank you to all of you out there. We want to thank Ellie for Ellie's Art Corner, a feature of this show. Hopefully we'll see more of that. Are we going to see more art coming up in the future? If I, if I don't like run out of art <laughs> stuff. I hope, I hope you see more because it was it was cool. I, I liked seeing it and it's uh, it's pretty neat. I love the time lapse. Keep that up. I vote for time lapse. I uh, also wanted to thank um, uh, thank uh, our our guest um, author uh, Sonia Sotomayor, Justice Sonia Sotomayor, for her book Just Ask. Hope you check that out and uh, check out the interview with uh, Justice uh, Soda, so Sonia Sotomayor. Sort of a tongue twister. <laughs> um, and see, because uh, she has some really awesome stories that she tells about why she wrote that book. Um, we also want to give a couple of quick shout outs. We want to give a shout out to Rita watching on our Sing Show page, to Mr. Salter who's out there watching as well. And uh, we have uh, the Cindy. Cindy, good to see you out there too, our ETM family. All right.
with us. Inch by inch, row by row, so to make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Happy Maker Month. We'll see you next week. Bye.